we're going to be looking at uh, the, an observation of um, letter E from the newspaper using the compound light microscope. We need to have a clean glass slide, got one fresh from this box. We need to have a cover slip. This is a clean one right fresh from this box. Hard to see perhaps, but there it is. And we need to have a pair of scissors, newspaper, and we find the smallest E that we can from here. So there's per perhaps the easiest way to do that is just to cut a piece out of the newspaper, make it smaller. There is an E right there, and we just try to get just that letter E. And I've got one here. You can see it on my fingertip uh, if you can. Then I take my glass slide, place it right on top of it, and with my eyedropper, I put a drop of water right on top. There we go, perfect. And with my cover slip, I approach it at a 45 degree angle and then I just let it drop. 45 degree angle, as soon as it touches the water, let it drop. There it is. Now we're going to be placing it under the microscope and we might need to touch it up so that we're looking at it directly as the letter E. So I'm going to turn this around so now it's pretty much facing me as the letter E. Alright, so I'm going to unfasten that, slide it under here, put the fastener back on and just adjust it approximately where it should go under that little lens that you can see down below. It's just coming up a little bit here, it's fine. And I make sure that this is my low power, compare all of them, and this is the smallest one. And it has a 4 on it. The largest number 4 means that that's a magnification. So what you do is you bring up the stage to as far as you can and then lower it down until you see something come into focus. There it is. I'm going to find adjust the position by moving it this way and a little bit this way. It's always opposite, as you're going to find out. Now, that's what it looks like under low power. We're going to look at it under medium power. The next power is, well, this is a 10. Uh, this is a hundred and this is uh, an oil immersion lens. We'll talk about that later. So basically with an angle from here you observe that it does not touch the slide. We want to be careful we don't damage the lens or the glass slide. And again it should be uh, approximately in focus. You probably need to use these, well you can see it from here, the fine focus. So use that and find your letter E in as good focus as you can and there I have it here. I need to slightly adjust the position again very carefully. It tends to move quite rapidly as you'll find out and there it is perfect. It fills the entire medium power field of view. Thank you.